When the three-hour window of opportunity for TPA is closed, there are other options for acute stroke patients at Advocate Christ Medical Center. Endovascular neuroradiology offers treatment possibilities that just a few years ago we could only dream of. Mr. Leipkup is a 61-year-old gentleman that developed a sudden headache and weakness in the left side of his body. But instead of going to the emergency room immediately, he waited for another hour to two hours hoping that that weakness is going to resolve. Instead, he became paralyzed completely. Pulled into the ER and I opened the door and he couldn't get out. He could move his right leg, but not any part of his left side of his body. After being triaged by the emergency physician and evaluated by a neurologist, it was determined that Mr. Lightcap was not a candidate for TPA. He had waited at home too long. So that's why I got called on the scene to try to intervene. And what we found during the procedure that he had a complete blockage of his right carotid artery and the blockage extended all the way intracranially, blocking his MCA. If you cannot physically reopen those arteries, there's no hope for those patients. At Advocate Christ Medical Center, there is hope. We physically pulled out the clot from his brain through the groin, and we were able to angioplast and stand his carotid. And doctor came out and he said, he's moving his left thumb. And I thought, there's no way, because under an hour ago, he couldn't move any, anything on his left side of his body. It was just un, unthinkable to me. Both arms up for me. Raise them up, raise them up. And Straight within two to three fingers. days, he's able to walk so again and he's moving his left weaker. arm. His left mouth is drooping a little bit and his speech is slightly slurry but he still has a lot of edema within his brain because it's been only four days. And I expect that within the next one to two months, he's going to re have a complete recovery and will back to normal. He's walking and talking and moving his arm. His exercises. <laughs> I got a second chance at life. And Maybe I should try harder than I've been trying in my first chance. This is what we live for. I mean, if we treat those patients and we see them coming back to life, if we forget about long hours, we forget about nights and days, uh, we just do it. That's what drives us.